1989. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young Disney world at the height of its golden age, the Disney MGM Studios was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business elite. Then, something happened that changed all that. The time is now to celebrate 35 years of Disney's Hollywood Studios with the largest ever in-person gathering of those who created its magic. The Imagineers who brought you the great movie ride. Muppet Vision 3D. And of course, as you may recognize, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. We'll present never before seen stories and artwork from the Hollywood that never was, but always will be. This event is somewhat unique in that it will offer a meet and greet and autograph session as well as two days of star-studded panels and presentations. We invite you, if you dare, to register at stage89.com to attend this event either in person or via streaming or just to get more information. And all event proceeds travel directly to Give Kids the World Village. This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Eric Morton of WDWNT.com. Please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell to make sure that you never miss the latest from Disney theme parks around the world. Here now is the news for April 12th, 2024. Disney has shared the names and new images of two retail locations coming to Tiana's Bayou Adventure at Magic Kingdom. According to a post on the Disney Parks Instagram account, guests will soon be able to dig a little deeper into Tiana's story at Critter Co-op and Tiana's Bayou General. The new images shared include close-ups of signage for each store. The sign for Critter Co-op features recently revealed critters Rufus the Turtle and Apollo the Raccoon. Tiana's Bayou General advertises groceries, housewares, dry goods, and more. The building is painted a warm yellow reminiscent of Tiana's waitressing outfit in the animated film. Nearby, the Critter Co-op sign advertises the house rules that all critters are welcome, that there's no such thing as a wrong note, and that the dress code is swamp casual. <laughs> Other ephemera are also featured on this sign. It's great to see as we march toward the opening sometime this summer. The sign for the former Country Bear Jamboree has been covered in preparation for the newest iteration of the attraction. The attraction officially closes doors back on January 26th to make way for an updated performance from the Bears. A new sign is likely on the way as the attraction is due to reopen this summer. When Grizzly Hall reopens its doors, it will be under the new name Country Bear Musical Jamboree. The Norway Pavilion at Epcot has new merchandise matching an old collection, including two lug bags available at the Fjording. First up is the belt bag for $60. Uh, the bag has a dark blue color scheme with floral orange embroidery. The lug belt bag has this embroidery against a quilted stitching pattern. An orange Mickey head is in the center of the design. The back has two loops for a belt to go through, I guess. And of course, a metal Disney Parks uh, and lug plaque is on there. It includes an adjustable strap to turn it into a crossbody or wear as a belt bag, I guess. It has Two zip pockets, both with orange interior lining, featuring a pattern matching the embroidery. Next up is a backpack for $90. Similar embroidery is on the front of the lug backpack between two zipper pockets. Norway is in orange lettering and Epcot World Showcase is in white. There are side pockets and a large main pocket. On the back, you will find mesh padding and inside you will find a zipper pocket and similar lining to what's inside the belt bag. In addition to the bags, we found a new felt ornament. Uh, actually, it's a set of uh, felt ornaments for $29.99, a mug for $16.99, a hoodie for $59.99, a youth shirt for $21.99, and a reversible bucket hat for $34.99. Walt Disney World Resort shared details about the Passholder Exclusive Lounge and discounts that will be available uh, during the returning VI Passholder Days this summer. Restaurant Marrakesh in the Morocco Pavilion Epcot will become the Passholder Exclusive Lounge from May 1st to June 18th. 
from noon to 8 p.m. daily. The restaurant hasn't operated as an actual restaurant since back in 2020. In 2021, it was used as an open seating area. In the fall then of 2022 and 2023, it was the Florida Blue Medicare Lounge. As a pass holder lounge, it will offer complimentary snacks and water, a complimentary pass holder button, air conditioning, and mobile device charging. Some special friends, i.e. characters, may also stop by. Each pass holder must be present and show their valid annual pass card, linked Magic Band, Magic Band Plus, or Disney Magic Mobile Pass, and a government-issued photo ID to be eligible to enter the pass holder lounge. In addition, Walt Disney World annual pass holders can receive a 20% discount on purchases through DisneyStore.com from May 5th to May 24th. Check out our site for details. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and their team will design your next magical vacation. From Disney World and Disneyland to Disney Cruise Line to Adventures by Disney and more. They're also able to book those unforgettable VIP tours where you and your group can experience the ultimate park day. Best part is their services are 100% free, so book today. In Marketplace Co-op at Disney Springs, the former Disney Tales location that became a Crocs location last month is now a Disney Pins location. The new merchandise displays in this area now feature retro Magic Kingdom map decorations. These are pulled from an old series of the Disney Vault collection, which was previously available across the way there in the Marketplace Co-op. In addition to pins, the shop offers spirit jerseys, lounge fly bags, ear headbands, and chuby shoulder plush. Old chuby, there he is. There are pin trading and display products like lanyards and bags as well. The cash wrap features an authentic Disney pins logo with a pink background, and the same logo is in green behind the counter where there's also a jean jacket covered in pins. For all the pin traders out there, don't worry, the large pin trading store nearby remains open. The Star Wars Build Your Own Lightsaber experience at Walt Disney World Resort has been revamped with all new parts. This experience lets, get, lets guests make plastic lightsabers on their own time. It's separate from the more expensive and much more immersive Savi's Workshop hand-built lightsabers experience over at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We found all the new parts at the Build Your Own Lightsaber experience in Once Upon a Toy at Disney Springs, but the change seems to be resort-wide. The new parts have completely replaced the previous options for the experience. The prices are also listed. Single lightsaber is $34.99. A deluxe single lightsaber is $39.99. A double lightsaber is $49.99. And a deluxe double lightsaber is $59.99. Deluxe means the saber has two small blades sticking out of the side, uh, sides like Kylo Ren's uh, light sword, laser sword, I don't know, lightsaber, I don't know what they call it. It's a lightsaber that Kylo Ren carries. How's that? Some guest rooms at Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter will undergo refurbishment starting next month at Walt Disney World. According to the Walt Disney World website, some guest rooms at Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter will be under refurbishment from May through November of 2024. As a result, guests may see or hear construction work during the daytime hours at the resort. Disney advises that most resort amenities will remain available. It has not been shared if this is solely a soft goods update, meaning you know, textiles and decor, or if the refurbishment will be focused on hard goods like furniture and flooring. The Dubloon Lagoon Pool and Marty Grog's Pool Bar were recently closed for routine refurbishment at French Quarter as well. Disney has added a small statue of Tiana's friend Louis the Alligator outside of Tiana's Palace at Disneyland. The dining venue was previously French Market Restaurant, but then it was rethemed last year. The Lewis statue is on a brick wall around the restaurant's outdoor seating area. The gator is depicted singing and holding his trumpet to his chest. The statue is bronze color, but it's made of plastic, not metal. It's kind of like, I think, those 50th anniversary statues you may be familiar with uh, around Walt Disney World Resort. A water lily is in each corner of the statue's tiered base. New Pixar Fest banners now adorn the lampposts of the Disneyland Resort Esplanade, and Pixar Fest decorations are up at Fantasyland Theater at Disneyland. There are several banners inspired by different Pixar films, Turning Red, Coco, The Incredibles, Cars, Toy Story, and more. Each banner has a retro-futurism background design with four pointed stars and colorful panels. Each banner has a yellow valance across the top that reads 2024 Pixar Fest Celebrating Friendship and Beyond. 
Fantasyland Theater will be home to the interactive Pixar Pals Playtime Party. Please say that five times fast. During Pixar Fest, construction walls surround the theater, but new Pixar decorations are visible around the stage's proscenium. Runners covered in multicolored rectangles hang above and to the sides. From a Disneyland railroad train, we saw construction materials in the stage area, like a cherry picker. It was there parked in front of the stage for crew members to install decorations above. Pixar Fest runs from April 26th through August 4th. Joey Chu announced on Instagram that he will be signing his art from the 2024 Epcot International Festival of the Arts at Disneyland Resort later this month. At this year's Festival of the Arts, Chu debuted three art pieces inspired by Enchanted, The Sword in the Stone, and Disney Dogs. Chu will be at Downtown Disney District and Disney California Adventure this weekend. That's April 13th and 14th. And next, which is April 20th and 21st, he'll be signing from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Disney Home Store in Downtown Disney District. And then from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., he'll be at Off the Page inside Disney California Adventure. You may recognize his art. Earlier this year, Disneyland Resort released a popcorn bucket and travel tumbler featuring some of his artwork. During a scheduled 10-day closure for refurbishment, crews have removed the loop from the Incredicoaster at Disney California Adventure. No, I don't think they expect you to jump the track from one side to the next. A crane is parked at the Pixar Pier Roller Coaster, which is the only Disneyland Resort coaster with an inversion. Two sections of the track curve up, but no longer meet. The top half of the loop is just gone. Uh, the loop of white track usually kind of lines up with the giant Pixar medallion behind it. There are more signs of refurbishment at the coaster's launch on the water. White tarps cover scaffolding over where the track kind of begins to curve upward there. The coaster was previously closed for refurbishment for a few days in late November and early December. Disneyland Paris has several announcements. Uh, first off, we learned that Walt Disney Studios Park will be renamed. The announcement was shared during a press conference celebrating the 32nd anniversary of its opening date. As it continues its transformation, Walt Disney Studios Park will be renamed Disney Adventure World. During the same press conference, Disneyland Paris made some other announcements. First off, they shared a first look at the upcoming Tangled-themed attraction for Disney Adventure World. The boat is crafted to look as though it's made of wood with faux metal filigree along the top. A red flower with greenery is painted along the bow. A Kingdom of Arendelle land featuring Frozen is also planned for Disney uh, Adventure World as part of its transformation. They also announced the premiere date for the new Alice in Wonderland themed BMX show. Yeah, you got that right. An Alice, Alice in Wonderland themed BMX show coming to Disney Adventure World. According to a post from DLP Report, a lot of this is DLP Report. They were uh, presumably there at the thing. Uh, they posted this on X. The new BMX show will premiere on May 25th. 2024. Also, World of Frozen, the official name now for the Frozen theme land, uh, is going to be World of Frozen. Concept art for the land was unveiled for the first time at this same press conference. The land will include Disneyland Paris's own version of Frozen Ever After, currently found at Walt Disney World and at Hong Kong Disneyland. They also shared new concept art and the name for the lake that is part of the expansion. This massive 70,000 cubic meter lake, I don't know what that is for the other Americans in the crowd, sounds pretty big. It will be known as Adventure Bay. The lake will be surrounded by picturesque banks and a promenade at the heart of the park's expansion and will serve as the gateway to the themed lands around it, including the newly named World of Frozen. Uh, located on the Adventure Bay promenade called Adventure Way, it will be the Regal View Restaurant and Lounge, which you can see in the concept art. This new table service restaurant will offer views of Adventure Bay as well as a chance to meet favorite Disney princesses. Rain Ponce Tangled Spin, I don't, I don't know if I pronounced that even close to right. Uh, it will also be located on Adventure Way. The lake will also feature an entertainment stage with a 360 degree viewing area. The lake will also offer fountains, music, lights, and special effects, and will be fitted with the latest technologies for water-based entertainment. Workers will also soon begin the process of turning Disney Adventure World's Studio One entrance area into a world premiere land. Once guests pass through the turnstiles, they will be transported into a contemporary open-air movie studio. They will find themselves at, as special guests of film premieres at the heart of Hollywood on a starry night. The interior decor of the soundstage, which currently depicts filming a scene on Hollywood Boulevard, will be replaced with decor that pays homage to historic movie theaters in Hollywood and the entertainment industry overall. 
Here, guests will step into their favorite adventure worlds with the movie theater as the portal, according to Imagineer Tom Fitzgerald. Outside of World Premiere will be World Premiere Plaza, an Art Deco-inspired district, which currently celebrates Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar Animation Studios. Uh, the World Premiere entrance area will open in spring of 2025. Next up, Disneyland Paris has announced that the nighttime drone show Disney Electrical Sky Parade is getting an extended run. The nighttime spectacle, which features smoke and pyrotechnics uh, fired from drones, has been extended through January 6th of 2025. Guests will now have until early next year to experience the show for themselves. Disney's Electrical Sky Parade is inspired by the Main Street Electrical Parade and features music and drone formations that are quite familiar to fans of the classic nighttime offering. The parade first debuted, of course, back in 1972 at Disneyland in California, and versions have gone on to perform and return to Disney parks around the world since then, including Disneyland Paris. But wait, there's more. A new nighttime show is coming to Avengers Campus in Disney Adventure World later this year. It's called A Nighttime Activation by the Disney Parks blog. This new offering will come to life by the end of 2024. The show will take place on the Worldwide Engineering Brigade uh, web uh, building through spring of 2025 and will combine projections, music, and special effects. An all-new storyline featuring some favorites and new-to-Disneyland Paris superheroes. According to a post on X from DLP Report, these heroes include Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange. Also, Disney Village, located between the Disneyland Paris theme parks and hotels, is undergoing a complete reimagining, including the addition of new shops and restaurants. The area acts as sort of a Disney Springs or downtown Disney district for Disneyland Paris. The current Disney store in Disney Village will be transformed into a new store called Disney Wonders. Notably outside the location, the concept art reveals the return of Gardens of Wonder statues, which were installed in Disneyland Paris's uh, 30th anniversary. There are also a number of new shops. Next up, the bungalows at Disney Davy Crockett Ranch are set to be replaced with a more modern and comfortable experience in a refurbishment that will begin later this year. The refurbishment will feature new theming with nods to Disney characters, including the Junior Woodchucks, Donald Duck, and his friends. Finally, Imagineer Tom Fitzgerald teased an additional land, saying our Imagineers are already at work creating the next immersive world for the park, and we look forward to sharing more in the future. One has to wonder if more information will be revealed in August at D23. I guess we'll keep our eyes on all this for you. The Fantasy Springs theme song from Tokyo Disney Sea is now available on music streaming services. Journey to Fantasy Springs was teased last month and continues the original Tokyo Disney Sea tradition of each port having its own theme song. The streaming soundtrack includes the full lyrical song as well as an instrumental version. You can listen to it on both Apple Music and Spotify. For the absolute latest on these stories and all those that didn't make it on today's show, please be sure to check www.nt.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. You can also support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. Special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen each and every week. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Eric Morton saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow.